5379 Tortuga Drive. Today is December 9th, 2013. And we're just doing a quick video walk through the property. First thing we see is the grass is uh, pretty bare and patchy in the front. Landscaping hasn't been tended to in a while. Flower beds overgrown. Mulls free. There's a lot of settlement cracks, which is normal. Over time, those appear. However, they have to be sealed so they don't allow water in through the property, through the stucco and the concrete. There's a lot of mildew and some more settlement cracks. It's a big one. Another. Throughout, when they build these properties, the builder sprays a very light coat of paint. So after about two or three years, they need a good coat of paint on them. Most people do not do that and that's what this is what happens when you don't. Nice little covered porch out the back. A beautiful view of the lake. Grass out here looks like it's fairly good condition. It's a little bit more moist the ground here. It just needs to be cut and weeded. Lots of insect nests under this porch and peeling paint. Now we're on the other side of the property. The roof looks good. First sight. And that's the exterior. And now we're going to enter the interior of the property and the irrigation should also be checked as well since uh, it seems to be just a general lack of maintenance on the property. Nice front porch. So we're going to enter the house into the tiled foyer right here. Nice high ceilings and to the left is the living room. stains over the carpet. Not too bad this room. And the dining room. Over to the right is the family room and then the kitchen. We're going to enter through the family room. Oh, also off to the right here before we go there is the laundry, the garage and a downstairs half bath. Right here. Laundry. And then the garage, so here standard two-car garage, door opener, looks good, oh, there are a couple of holes in the garage wall right there, one of them has been attempted to be patched poorly. So let's go through the family room, nice staircase with a little balcony up there on the second level. The family room. Carpet has a couple of stains here and there, but it looks a few years old, the carpet. My recommendation would be to replace it, but it could probably be just getting away with a cleaning. The walls have the original builder flat paint, and there's a lot of uh, smudges, minor smudges throughout. You can see one of them right there. That's throughout. On the breakfast bar, you'll see more, a couple of dents in the walls as well. So I would recommend having the whole property painted with a satin glossy finish that will last for a few years. So there's a lot of um, personal items. And it appears like someone's still living here, although the dishwasher has been removed. So has the oven range. The fridge is pretty small for this property, and it's white. Whereas the microwave is black. Downstairs is the master bedroom. 
nice big spacious room carpets in the same condition as the other rooms minor stains throughout there's no fan or light fixture in this room I would install one They're fairly cheap and most tenants expect there to be a light in each bedroom and lots of personal items throughout double sinks, very nice if you light bulbs needed Car this is a cultured marble countertop nice big corner oval tub and a walk-in shower right here and a toilet that toilet seat is absolutely disgusting it needs to be replaced big walk-in closet plenty of space it looks like someone removed the alarm system that used to be up here And now we're going to finish upstairs. These hallway carpets are about the same condition. This is the little balcony up here. There's a few smoke detectors missing throughout. Most of the rooms are missing them. Bedroom off to the left, nice spacious size. Also needs a light fixture. Blinds are also missing on most windows and doors. Tenants expect to have blinds. The closet shelf has been removed. Looks like it just needs one bracket to get it back on the wall. The second bathroom, second full bathroom. Missing some light bulbs, tiles throughout, very nice. Full bathtub, shower combo. We're missing a shower head up here. Same condition with the toilet. Not sure what happened with these toilet seats. And then, looks like someone was in the attic. There's some fiberglass from the attic up there. This would be the AC system, the air conditioning system. It's a carrier, it's a decent brand. And these two bedrooms. Carpet's pretty worn, lots of stains throughout. There's screens missing from the windows. Could probably just be put back. A uh, light fixture and smoke detector again in this room needed. And this time a full closet shelf set. And the last bedroom, the fourth bedroom. Nice size. Same condition with the walls throughout. Again, smoke detector, light fixture with fan needed. Small walk in closet, it's very nice. The last time I was here, there was a huge ant infestation all around this window. There's a few more ants crawling around, you can see them there. So they haven't gotten totally rid of the infestation. There's another one up there in the corner crawling. See a few dead ones here. They are all the way down to here. They're actually crawling along this entire shelf, and there were hundreds, if not thousands, of them all the way along here. And one last view from up above of the family room. So, in all, a very nice layout. We just need some. TLC and a lot of standard maintenance.